Hello everyone. Today we will conduct an interesting experiment, called obtaining copper or copper mirror reaction. This reaction is the reduction of copper to the metallic state and depositing on the surface of the glass beaker. First, we take a glass and pour there about 50 milliliters of water. Next, we dissolve in the water 7 grams of copper sulfate. We will restore copper to the metallic state using hydrazine. In our university, we have found a pretty old bottle with hydrazine, and I hope that it hasn't reached the end of its shelf life yet. To obtain metallic copper, add a little hydrazine to the beaker with copper sulfate. Immediately we can observe a reaction in which a nitrogen gas has been released. Small particles of copper begin to form in our beaker. Hydrazine is a very good reducing agent and recovers copper from divalent to the metal state. To settle copper particles to the walls of the beaker, heat it in a water bath. After 10 minutes on the walls of the beaker a beautiful and smooth layer of metallic copper begins to form. Copper mirror begins to form, after about 15 minutes of heating a beautiful and shiny coat of metallic copper formed on the walls of the beaker. I poured the liquid off the beaker to better show you the resulting copper mirror. The layer reflects light pretty good and reminds a silver mirror. The difference is that copper has a different color. However, the resulting layer of copper is quite fragile and it can be easily washed off. And another method exists in which formaldehyde is used instead of hydrazine. I've tried to make this experiment, but unfortunately that attempt resulted in a fail. Some of my chemist friends also said that the experiment with formaldehyde copper mirror is very rarely obtained successfully. 